morning everyone. Welcome back. So we're finally out of our self-isolation period. But we're uh, we've about four days that we've uh, that we've not been isolating so first opportunity that I had I got down to the hide and we've started our uh, buzzard project for this year. So we've got we've got a, that big perch that we put down in the field. I also took down took down the adjustable post holder and uh, the one that you saw in that last video. So that's down there. So we've got some some cracking uh, cracking logs and and perches for them to come down on if they do. And I also took the opportunity to to take um, <coughs> a Canada goose down that I'd, I'd had in the freezer since last year. A mate of mine found it upon marshes. So we put that down. Fastened it down really well because I know full well them foxes will have it away. Put the trail cam down. So the trail cam's been down there for three nights now, I think. So fingers crossed, we're going to have a bit of footage. Making our way down to the hide now. I'm actually uh, on the new camera this morning, which I'm hoping is going to just improve everything, make everything a little bit easier. We're on the Osmo Action. So, big shout out to Simon Wantlin, who I kind of got the idea off. I know he, uh, he uses this particular camera and it's yeah, pretty good results to be honest. It's just small and it's, it's handy, you can stick it in your pocket. So. Yeah, we're just coming down to the down to the actual hide now. Hopefully the, the Canada goose is still down there, which it is, I can just see it now. So that's great. No one's no one's nicked it. What we'll do. I think we'll just top these feeders up. Good idea to get down here early. Could have got here a little bit earlier, but uh, hey, not matter we're here now, aren't we? So yeah, what we're gonna do just get set up in here, get the hide open. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna nip over and get that trail cam and get back in here. And we can have a look, see if we've got any footage. Yeah, all we've done up here, you can see, I just put some clothes pegs up. Yeah, I got a bit of uh, bit of adhesive and just uh, just glued these three clothes pegs up, and, and then all we can do, if we want, I mean, I've just put another piece of scrim up there. We can take that down, and then these little screens that we've got. It's a bit breezy today; they're blowing about. But I might want them open, so I can just, as you can see there, just open the peg up. And just hold them up and they're out of the way then if I want and just drop them down like I said this morning we just want a bit more a bit of extra camo to shut that door and we can just clip that, that up and then we've got we've got like a proper proper good screen there that'll light us out of the way so I think we'll get uh, we'll get a brew on we'll get flask out and have a look on this trail cam, eh? see if we've got any uh, any buzzard footage. Right. 
let's have a wander down to this buzzard setup and uh, see if our goose is still there. Yeah, like I said, I had. Uh, There's our buzzard. I'm going to go back now. I don't believe that. It was just about to come down. So we're going to go and disappear back into the hide. Hopefully, he'll ignore us and come down and start feeding. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll uh, go and see if this goose carcass is still here. And like I said, it's. Uh, you know, we we put it out a few days ago with the hope that that these buzzards are coming down and feeding. So yes, it's still here, which is a a bonus. Oh yeah, look at that! Wow. So something's had a right go at that. It's not very uh, appetising at the moment, but we'll get the trail cam. Trail cam's just down here and we'll see if we've got any footage on it but wow someone's been having a right do at that the head's still on so there's still loads of uh, loads to go out there no doubt the fox has been down and had a good pick at it but what i've had to do to stop the fox from taking it away i've had to i've, uh, I've put a couple of uh, big zip ties around the wing uh, where the wing goes into the uh, you know into the the side of the bird it's a really strong part there and i've had to i've had to peg it down to the floor so nothing can you know drag it away it's just got to whatever's feeding on it, it's got to do it here and so if we have a look up here you can see the actual the post well the the log set up that i've uh, put up put down here nearly killed me dragging that out of woods but i'm hoping it's going to pay off now you can see we've got the bird down here and this is quite elevated up here so ideally i'd like to get a i'd like to get a picture of the buzzard on here and uh if you look there's some feathers here so i'm hoping that the bird's been up here i don't know until i have a look on the trail cam we don't know yet whether them feathers have blown up there i don't know and also if you look at this side you know the um the adjustable post holder that we made it workshop we're putting that to use so we've got that here as well because i wanted i wanted a, a bit of an option you know i we we had this one that i said uh it'd be good for the kingfishers well i think it'd look equally as good we are we are buzzard on don't you so there was no way that i'd be able to fix that or um you know get get that set up without using that post holder so that's that's coming well what we've done I put two uh, two guy ropes down, you know, chaining it from the back. We've disguised it. We've got some of this like reed grass. We've tied that on, so you know, just to try and uh, try and make it look a bit more natural, really. And also, we've got this post on, the one that we got the barn owl on. That's on as well. So you never know. We've got uh, we've got three options there. So obviously, they're coming down and feeding. What I'm going to do. I think a little bit it's a little bit far from the hide now I'm thinking I might get the monal hide and we're going to try it down here we're going to put it say I don't know what you've got to do now is kind of weigh up the best position to get them shots with them on these on these high perches so we don't want to be we don't want to be too low down we don't want to use the ground hide because we'll uh, we'll get like a you know the, we'll get the sky in the background and it's uh, I don't want that I'd rather have a like a, the trees in the background so looking at it you've got to be careful you don't want to be too close either you don't want to spook them so if we come back here we're probably oh well, maybe 25 30 meters we're into a big clump of uh, this reed grass here which will that'll definitely help conceal us a bit but yeah looking at it this is going to be this is definitely going to be the spot we're nice and level so the sun comes up there they're coming down roughly 10 11 o'clock in the morning and we've got the trees in the background we should have enough distance between the uh, 
between the perches and the woods at the back to get a you know a bit of a blown out background so yeah i think this is going to be the the spot to set up so i think we're going to tomorrow we'll bring the monal down get that set up so i can be a bit more comfortable in that if i bring the little chair ride down you know after after a few hours it gets a little bit cramped i want to be able to spread out a bit so if i get the two person eyed down i've got me uh, you know my comfy chair i can get uh, sorted in that and hopefully fingers crossed we'll get some shots of them buzzards so that's the plan that's the plan tomorrow Mate, hopefully you can uh, you can hear me all right see me all right we've got a new little light set up so Get a brew out and have a look on this trail camera. I really do hope them buzzards have been down. The sun has been down. Yeah, so anyone that's not got one of these, well worth getting. It's just interesting to put out and, and see what's about. And this is the moment, it's like Christmas morning opening your prezzies so and to set up put our password in and then it shows you wow so you can see on there 330 frames so the camera's been busy it's been proper busy. Well, we've got here. There's nothing down here, which is good. So I've not spooked anything. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this squirrel up on this post here. So okay. we're actually, I'm going to change tact. I'm not going in the in the permanent hide. We're going to go in the mornal and uh, yeah, you never know. So I need to be quick, really. <laughs> now this, I say this is something I picked up on road. We're going to have to tie this on somehow. I'm trying to tie him up there. Things you do, eh, for a picture. Hey, it beats lying in, doesn't it? That's what Sunday mornings are for. Right. Bit of a claw itch around its front paw. And then we'll lash it on. I mean, there's no doubt about it. If it could, it'd just pick this up and it'd be away, it'd be gone. We'd never get any pictures. So, with any any bait, you know, of a certain size, I mean, a you know, a buzzard will take a will take a fully grown pheasant, no problem at all. I've just got to disguise that uh, a bit of wrapping, but yeah, that's about as good as we can do. Make sure we get rid of these bags. Come on, I'm blowing around, do we? Right, come on, let's get in this side. So, so we're about there. You can see the our permanent hide, and there's the there's the monal. We have a bit more room in this. Well, it warm after that. Right, so we're, we're in. We've got the tripod set up. So, uh, so the beauty of this hide, we can put that leg out the front of it, which is brilliant. We can get the, get the camera well out. 
you know, in front of us, so it gives us gives us that room inside the hide, which is a real nice feature in this hide. Good idea. So we've got the uh, the scrim hood on, which allows me a little bit of peripheral vision as well. I like to see what's coming in really. I've got one of the side doors open just so that it um, allows me a little bit of light for filming. It's a little bit dark to be honest, you might not even be able to see me. But you can hear me, that's the main thing, isn't it? So let's have a look. The light's not too bad actually, it's uh it's kind of picked up a bit. I mean ideally with buzzards best thing to do is get in the hide in darkness. Um, I mean I got up this morning and it were absolutely honking it down, it were awful and I wasn't even going to bother and then it's kind of perked up so I've come down, I, I don't know, we'll see what happens but uh, a bit of activity above, there's a lot of crows about so they might just see someone come down and you know bring the buzzards down, that's what happens sometimes so we'll stick with it, fingers crossed, eh? That's what we can see. <laughs> been in about how long we're nearly two hours yet and nothing's come down but um, the light is beautiful at the moment it's perfect which I wasn't expecting we've got a really cloudy dark sky coming well I think it's going that way so we might have seen the last of the rain we've had some proper heavy downpours but the light has definitely changed for the better it's allowed me to shut that uh, that aperture down a bit this lens tends to work best around about f8 that's the one thing with this lens it uh, it doesn't cope really well with with low light so i like to I like to get it to around about f8 it's 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 at its sharpest then so uh, yeah that's working in our favor we've got a there's a lot of crows about and a couple of magpies they've obviously seen what's what's on offer so Hopefully, they'll kind of maybe attract the buzzards in. But it's just a waiting game at the moment. I've got this side window open just purely to give me a bit of light for filming. But uh, just something to be mindful of when you're photographing buzzards. Their eyesight is absolutely on the on the money. They, they'll see anything. So even in a even in a hide like this. You know, when you're pretty much closed in and you've got scrim at the front, it's just an idea to cover your face up. Um, if you haven't got any camo with you, I, I tend to always have this little scrim with me. Uh, sorry, a buff. So what you can do, it's only a thin one, but just put it up over your, over your nose and then if you grab the back of it, and bring it over the top, and you can almost make like a... Balaclava, if you will. Look at that. And it completely takes all that glare away from your face. Well, you know what time it is, don't you? It's brew time. Flipping out. I've been sat here some hours now. I've seen it come over a couple of times, and um, you know, I've heard him screeching but it's going to be a waiting game today what else we've got come on we've stocked up finally <laughs> wow beautiful
for cracking hide this, you know, this mono. I love it. Even though, you know, I'm, it's just me in it today, there's bags of room. That's the beauty of them. Sometimes these, um, you know, the smaller hides, you can't spread out. This one especially, you know, when you sat here for ages, I don't know about you, but my knees, they, I mean, they, they don't half ache, you know, when you sat in one position. But you can sit sideways in this and, you know, stretch your legs right out. It's uh, it's fantastic for, uh, you know, extended sessions and that. It really is a good hide. Right. Let's get back on it, eh? Literally, the buzzard has just flown in. I don't know whether you can pick him up on the microphone or not, but literally sat about 40 yards behind where the perches are. I'll just open this window up here. See a bit better. I'm sat in the tree now, I'm just filming him at the moment. What they tend to do, they tend to fly in, there's a big beech tree. They tend to sit in that, they'll weigh it up, and then hopefully they'll come down. They never ever come straight in on the perch. It's the first time I've actually sat in this hide and had them that close. I say hopefully, the hide's been down about three or four days now and I'm hoping that they've got used to it. The light's good. It's dropped off a little bit, but... Fingers crossed.
the buzzard. I don't, even, I don't even know if you can see me, but the buzzard is right down now. He's on the perch, you know, the big perch that we, the uh, adjustable perch thing we made that I said was going to be good for kingfishers. Well, <laughs> we've got the buzzard sat on it right now. Just show you the. There you go. You can see the back of the camera. He's just sat there like a beauty. He's weighing up. He's weighing up what to go for. He's been down on the squirrel. I've had a little bit of footage on the squirrel. But this is fantastic. This is when it all pays off. All the hard work. All the hours sat in the hide. I've been in here since 7 o'clock this morning. And it's now nearly 3 o'clock. And this is what it's all about. That is fantastic. Absolutely chuffed a bit. I can't believe that. He's literally 25 yards in front. He hasn't got a clue with that we're here. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to have to put this down now. I'm going to get some stills taken. Well, there he, <laughs> there he was, gone. That was fantastic. He was down for a oh, good, good 10 or 15 minutes. Flew down initially. He came down on the squirrel. I got a couple of half decent shots, I think, of him actually landing on the squirrel. Uh, had a bit of a bit of a peck at that. It wasn't wasn't too bothered about that. And then he he went up onto the uh, the big perch, the one that's on the the adjustable post holder. And I got some I got some belters on there. And I, you know, a bit of video as well. So ah, oh, that was that was awesome. That was worth sitting in this hide all day for. You know, that's that's what you've got to do. It's all about putting the hours in, in it and the time and the planning. And um, yeah, it's paid off. Like I said, this hide's been up for, you know, a good few days now. And uh, it just felt felt the right right time to come down today, really. And um, I thought it might have put them off, but they've obviously got used to it, which is something you've got to consider when you, you know, you're putting hides out especially with birds like, like this, birds of prey, they're proper twitchy, they're, uh, yeah, they've really got their wits about them. So, yeah, that's uh, another another little buzzard session sorted. So, oh, I'm met up with that. Brilliant. So, thanks for watching. And um, hey, if you've enjoyed it, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done, because we've loads of films coming up. Um, Pop a comment in in the uh, you know in the in the section and I'll get back to you. Hey, if you've any ideas for you know films that you want us to do, just uh, bang them in as well and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Eh? So thanks again, all the best and uh, take care, look after yourself, and we'll see you out there.